in this video I'm going to share few tips and tricks while using filament table so I have uh, if you're new to filament I have a video I will link on I'll put a link on description about how I build this orders table so today I will talk about how we can add filters or how we can add models on this table and bulk delete let's get started so first thing in order to add filters which will show up here added custom filters here is order resource that uh, can be generated using make resource command and here we have this table section we have form section uh, we can ignore this for now in table section this is uh, pretty default custom uh, pretty default fields if you want to make custom fields then there is option to do that let's start with filters so as you can see here is a filters method if you add any filter over here it will show up here so we have uh, different kind of filters available to us if you go to uh, inside this table builder filters we have uh, these are few filters that we can use uh, one is simple inline filter where you can define like this and simple queries can be executed like this and we have uh, the ternary filter which is useful for these kind of boolean fields then we have query builder where we can define all the complex queries select filters and then there is a um, possibility to define custom filter as well so here i have defined a select filter if you define if you want to define any other filter you can duplicate this and define any of those uh, kind of filters from this ternary select and simple filters so i'll make a detailed video on filter later on and uh, let's uh, go into the next section here um, we can see actions right and if we want to add new actions those will go here so one thing to keep in mind there is, there are two kind of actions one is table action and another one is a normal action which can be added on page so if you try to define any action here you can see there are different class normal actions table action and there is one called this pages actions as well but in case of table we need this class so let me try adding this action here so this is the table action uh, just give any name here and I'm just making few changes it, it will show up here and there is another thing called header actions as well you can define new method header actions and put it here it will show up in header now but this is not right use case of uh, it because it uh, expects the order each rows data so the right use case for header actions is any action uh, like sending uh, notifications which is not related to row and some general actions should be put here there are other actions called bulk actions so here we have if you select multiple items it will show bulk actions we can group it like here or we can put like here so if you want to put this kind of action it will not work all right so it says it should be instance of bulk action so if you want to add bulk actions then there is 
bulk action class bulk action like this and then if you select something then it will show up here so using these three actions uh, it will handle most of our use case regarding actions um, so if you need anything custom uh, let's say if you want to make this column clickable and want to display something when user clicks on it right now when you click on any row it will perform only one action which is edit action which you can disable and you can make custom custom table cell so there is command for that uh, if you um, go and run PSP artisan command here we can see make table column so let's define one new custom column make table column i will say order id so I, I have already created this one so if you execute this command you will get order id this table column and it is uh, rendering this view let's go and open that one order id so here i have put few things uh, let's disable it for now and let's go ahead and put this newly created order uh, newly created column over here so name is order id make you can give any name i'll give id of order so this will come handy while testing now if we go and reload we get this order id so whatever you put here will be displayed there obviously so there are two methods which are useful for us uh, which is get get record so it will get the column uh, rows record and you can access anything like order number yeah so like this so if you want to display model while clicking on this what we can do is so there are blade components provided by filament to us you can go and search for this blade component over here there are several blade components that you can use here so for displaying model we can use this model we can copy over this over here and there are two slot one for trigger and one for model content and here uh, let's so i have put uh, this order number as trigger and the content will go here let's go ahead and see so when I click this, so if you see, we can see the content, but our default action is uh, triggering, which is on clicking any row, this action is getting triggered. So let's disable this uh, behavior, this default behavior. We can do this by using this, this uh, calling. So there are several methods we can call uh, record URL so per, uh, particular uh, every record got a url while it should uh, head record actions there are several things that you can add on the row level uh, these are the changes that you can make on the each row level you can add particular class you can add few things just go ahead and explore those options what are available so record url is whenever we hit record it will take us to particular url in this case edit url so we made that null let's refresh and whenever i click here nothing happens right so when i click here now this our custom model is getting triggered and you can put anything here you can build like normal page so this is how you create uh, the custom columns so in other videos i will 
make other videos about uh, handling filters and other tips about filament i will see you an, on another video bye thank you